Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the all new, redesigned, number one selling motorhome in the country. This is the 2020 Four Ace model 33.4. 30. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited with the all new redesigned Ace. Now, if you guys seen some of my older videos, you know I'm not a huge fan of this product at this price point. But, but, with that said, they have a new interior look and I will follow my sword and I will say it's absolutely fantastic. Now, before I begin, I want to say hello to Andrea. Hey, everyone. Hey, you feel, do you, you look so much better. Thank do you feel you, better? I do, and I just want to say thank you to everybody with all the get well wishes. You guys are so sweet, and I love all of you. Well, hey, I did a really bad job recording the last video by myself, so I appreciate you being here. So I heard, babe. <laughs> oh, all right, let's begin. Great. Model is 30.4 but the actual tip to tip length is 31 feet 6 inches. This is the new redesigned Ace. It's a mid model year change and the best way to tell that it's a new model year is with this, uh, they painted the front cap here, the black. They painted that brow black. That's how, that's an indication that you know it's a 2020 part 2. Uh, I do like Ace. Ace stands for Class A, Class C Evolution. So it's a Class C floor plan built on a Class A, and it just, it's, it's the number one selling motorhome at the best price point. I do like the front headlight size, it looks pretty good. This is on the F53 uh, chassis with the 19.5 tires. It's a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 320 feet pounds of torque. Right here, you do have a doggy window, or for Andre and I, it's a kitty window. Right over here, you have chrome mirrors. I love that, and I love how they integrate the cameras into the left blinker and right blinker. Coming down the side, you can see that it's frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome, and you have a nice power awning with LED, with LED lights. Let me show you what that looks like when it's all the way out. Great, nice power awning with LED lights. Also, notice how this isn't a high high up motorhome. It's since it's on the smaller chassis and everything. So there's only one step going into it. Also, Andre, we gotta hurry up. We're running out of daylight. I know. I do want to let everybody know if they're watching this within the first three days of this broadcast. Uh, I will be at the Ocala RV show uh, today and all weekend long at the Ocala um, Horse Park. Look at that nice pasture storage. I oh, love yeah. that. I love that is I love the through. material that they use for the interior of it. Over here, here's your battery and hydraulic leveling. Also, right here, you see this hole? Look, you put your dog collar chain thing here, and then you tie your dog up to your motorhome so he doesn't go running away at the campsite. Right here, you have external power to hook up a golf cart. Over here, look nice. at that. Nice TV, sound bar. Bluetooth, hanging out, having a good time. Look at that, more storage, and then look, look, they have an LED light right there for yes. the inside. Also, a notice no, notice that right here, that is a drainage, no, 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 up there. Look, yep, see, no, 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 you're, see you're right, my shadow's pointing to it. That's a little drainage plug, so if it gets wet in here, it will drain out. That's the lowest point of the cargo carry, of the storage area. Right, water. here's a propane quick connect. Oh, Oh, good. Yeah, if you want a little external grill. Coming down the side here, here's your potable water fill. Over here, you got a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. And then what's great about what, what makes this floor plan special is this right here. This is a Class A motorhome, folks. 
check this out. Oh nice. my God, look at that. That's unbelievable. This is crazy storage. Got the table and the ladder. The oh bar. yeah. Look at this. This is, this is crazy. That's outrageous. All right, coming around the back. You have a bumper here. Not a fan of that because there's no place for the stinky slinky, but we'll touch on that later. 8,000 pound hitch. Now this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. I like to tell people five or 6,000 pounds. But if you do need to tow a little bit more, as long as you're careful with what you load up in this motorhome, you can tow, you know, a little bit beyond the five or 6,000 pounds. You have your fuel fill up here, 80 gallon fuel capacity. And I love that it's in the rear. That way you're able to access it on both sides. Also your backup cameras integrated in that brake light up there. That's one less hole in the motorhome. Also, you have a one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Wow, it's been a while since you've got up on a ladder. Yeah, we got it. Hold on, babe. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see that it is not one, but it is two air conditioning units. Prior years for the Ace Motorhome product, it used to be 30 amp, where now they're 50 amp. Right there, you do have solar prep, so you can put some solar panels up on the roof. Right over there is your WineGuard digital to-go antenna. And then right there you have a max air fan. Come on down. Slowly. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman is going to take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> All right, let's finish before we lose daylight over here wow this is the other side of that awesome pasture storage i love that that is so big over here you have a 5, cummins, cummins onan 5500 generator nice. because it is a 50 amp motorhome right over here is your 50 amp power cord so it was external city water connection furion cable tv hookup and you do have a six gallon dsi water heater over here a little bit more storage not really much going on in this door over here you have your black and gray tank dump also your exterior shower nice over here you have more storage and there's another 50 amp power cord that's not supposed to be like that but it's okay, two's better than one. Exactly. That's their mistake. That's <laughs> like, like the one time we went- That's like a $300 power do you remember cord. We went, where do we go where you didn't have the we power cord? We went to cord. Florida and we didn't have a power cord. That's, a, that's just a long story for later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go into that later. And then right here is a huge 88 pound wow. propane tank. I tell you what, the outside of this RV looks great, but the inside is what makes this motorhome the all new redesigned Ace. Let's go take a look. It is amazing inside. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. All right. Okay. All right, so inside the new Ace 30.4, this is what it looks like when the slide outs are closed and you're driving and down the road. I got plenty of space to get to the bathroom. There it is. Nice bedroom back here and there goes the slides great now while the slides coming out i have a few huge favor to ask if you could leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome the more people who comment and hit that subscribe button the more people youtube like to promote our video to and andrea yes you know we're changing the industry right I hope so. So I'm not going to say anybody, but we now have some, some people who are taking our business model and using it as their own. So, well, that's okay. RV review crew knows that we're the originals. We're the OGs. That's right. And it's not us. It's you. It's everybody who watches and exactly. we appreciate it. And it's the community who leaves down in the comments to help better improve the RV world. Exactly. So they're let's get started They're just front. fantastic. We love each and every one of you, and we appreciate every comment. 
So up here in the cockpit area, you can see looks. Door has the new big, this is a huge like 10.25 inch screen. You have your cameras here, radio, navigation, USB, up. rear camera, everything. It actually looks pretty good to me. Over here, you have your auto leveling, your lights, your camera, your action, cup holder here, window, everything. Actually, there's a cute little reading lamp there too that I just, I noticed oh, earlier. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Very cute. Over here, look at this. I absolutely love this computer tray. To me, this is a big deal. I like this. I like the way they do it. You got your power right there. Nice visibility. Your dog window right there. And look, three cup holders. Cup holders are important. The, the second you tap the brake, you know, the second yep. everything goes flying. So I like that. And also notice, because this is an Ace, this isn't as big as traditional Class Ace. Notice how it doesn't have that huge windshield. It's, it's a lot smaller, more automotive-like. And these chairs, they do swivel. Of course, yep, they do swivel. Also, right up here, you do have a bunk over the cab. Let me show you what that looks like. And you got some cabinets, not cabinets, but little, I don't know, shelves. 250 pounds max on this right. bunk. So check it out. It's not a ton of weight, but here's what I'm a fan of, okay? So this is a bunk over the cab. One, show the size. It is a good size, but bunk over the cabs have a lot of moving components and they have been known to break. Not that a bunk over the cab will break, but it could break. And if it did break, you could still make it home. You could. Do not drive with this down, but you could if you had to in an emergency. Whereas there's some bunks that drop all the way down and you can't, you know? There's no way to sit in the driver's seat yeah, and that, keep on keeping on. Yeah, that would be really, really horrible if that happened. Over here, when you first enter, you have a grab bar handle here, which is a big deal. And look, a little bit of storage. That's something new that they're doing, definitely. Yeah. Well, let's check that. Let's check this out. panels up there. Now that the slide out's open. Listen, listen, folks. This is a new look from Thor. If you guys know Thor, they like that high gloss you know, glitter and glam. This is kind of like a farmhouse look. I don't like it if it, if this was a hurricane or a Miramar Challenger, I wouldn't like it. But because of this, this is the, the ace. Because this is the ace, it looks I'm actually so much it. better. Me I'm too. I, I was really impressed when I walked in here. Yeah, it, I think it looks good. I like the struts. We have a jackknife sofa here. Yep. Look, cup holders behind the sofa. So when people are sitting here while you're nice. driving down the road, their drinks aren't going to go flying. You have a window right there. Open it and close it. And then we you have said this jackknife. Yes. All right. There you go. Also, notice how there's heat ducts right there. Yes. The heat ducts aren't in the floor. They're vented through the side. All right. Over here in the dinette area, I love this huge window right here. That is an awesome feature. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. You got cup holders right here. Storage. You got storage. Both. Oh, man. Storage under there. Sorry, folks. I'm tired from the Ocala RV show. I met a lot of subscribers today, though. I appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, I love that. Also, look right here. This is a uh, tether for a car seat. Did you oh, know that? Oh, no, I did not know there that. You go. Also, you have a TV right here. It does pivot. I mean, it's a pretty big TV. And let's see the cabinets. Yep, nice cabinets. I want to show those top cabinets. Right here? Yep. I'm definitely, I definitely do like the color. I mean, I'm yeah, no, I'm digging it the, for the Ace. But it just, it looks very modern, so. Yep. Cool. Over here in the kitchen area, you got a good amount of countertop. You got to remember, this class fine is a 30 foot motorhome. So to get all this in yeah, such a good so space. Much, yeah, there's a lot of cabinets and a lot of storage pretty nice. in this. I like this huge sink. Nice countertop. This backsplash right here is all right. It's all right. <laughs> so <laughs> That's it's, what I was thinking it's too. It's all right. You know, you ain't, hey, this, this countertop ain't, <laughs> this backsplash ain't Andrea approved. But uh, look, you got, you got a good size oven and your microwave 
right there. And look, you got some drawers. Show that under there. Look, that's an $85 trash can. <laughs> And you get wait, 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 you get two? You get two. Oh man, Thanks. two, two $85 nice. trash cans. 16% battery. Oh man, yeah, no, we got it, we got enough time. You you guys know me, Mr. <laughs> Char Mr. Being Prepared and Charging My Batteries. Cool, and you then you have another drawer right there. Now, also, you have this refrigerator right here, and this is the it's a three-way, isn't it? No, it looks like it's just the compressor fridge. Oh. Yep. Yep, the compressor fridge. Okay, so there that's new. Yep, it is new. But you gotta remember, small motorhome, but at a fantastic price. Now it's time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome is one hundred. $33,141. Uh, wow. One, three, three, one, four, one MSRP. Sale price, we have it 31% off MSRP to $92,995. But Andrea, I sold it cheaper at the Ocala RV show this today. You know how somebody can get that Ocala RV show price? Yes, I do. Tell us. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Let's continue the video. By the way, I do want to say, a lot of people have been messaging me saying that the, um, my the 301 looks like a 307. I know it does. I don't want people to see it and call. I want you to listen and call. You know what I'm saying? Is that rude or no? No. No. Yeah. Listen up. 301. 301. If you're if you're if you're a follower of Matt's RV reviews, I want to get you the best price. And if you just see my video once or twice, you know, and you don't, you know. Right. That's on. That's I on. I hear you. Ya. You're not doing your own due diligence. Here we go with the bathroom. <laughs> oh right. Okay. This is definitely. Look at this. Look at I am this. just. I can't believe this. Yep. I like it. I like it. Show show that closed. Okay, look at Looks that pretty. down here too. We got three of them. Yep. Nice. Check out the shower. Okay, so that looks like a very nice shower. <laughs> yeah. I like For that. For real though? They really did a this different design. This is what design. I need to do. I need to, hey, I drop the soap, you know. See, hang on. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the shower. All right, it is what it is. You know, it's just a small shower. Oh, just don't use soap in the shower, you know, just use the shampoo and stuff. Because if something falls, you know, it's very hard to get it and pick it up. Just saying. Okay, what so I look, mean? I like what they're doing with the mirror. The mirror looks nice. Yeah. The, the bathroom looks fantastic. Hold on. Let me see that. Yep. We got to show these. Yep. I know the ladies like to see the cabinets, just like me. Hell yeah, the men like to as well. <laughs> let, let me see that one don't over there. Don't discriminate. Uh, Everybody wants to see our cabinets. Alright, All right, time for the toilet test. I didn't. Um, let me show the sink. Show the sink. Slow I'm down. Slow it. your roll. Slow I'm, your I roll. just want to sit on the toilet, please. Okay. I uh, like this countertop. I, it's okay. I, I think this. No, it's I like the farmhouse look. Yeah, no, no. no. I don't That's know if I like totally this. That's totally out of place. Yeah. Look, look at this. The wallpaper. I'm not. I'm, listen, listen, folks. I'm not an interior designer, but this with this and this looks great. This is like, yo, what the heck? I know. <laughs> you know? So the toilet, it Yo, doesn't get the four piece. It's a porcelain toilet. No, -uh, oh, really? Don't oh. tell me it doesn't get the four piece. Wow, I didn't know. It's a porcelain toilet. It qualifies. That's crazy. Listen, this is a fantastic toilet position. Look at the toilet paper holder right here, out of the way. Wow, plenty of space. Look at that. I can get the double ply there. Good job. They've been listening. No, this is great. This is Andrea. This is definitely I, Andrea the word, approved. The word is final. This is a prime pooping position, y'all. This is a, listen, that shower sucks. <laughs> this toilet <laughs> is awesome. Let me see that cabinet there. All right. Oh yeah. This is, I, I'm just amazed with all the storage in here. Yeah, but really what makes this floor plan for uh, me I know. Is, oh, what's this? That's the door, the pocket door for the bedroom. Well, see, is there it? you go. Yep, you gotta pull that. There you go. Oh. I think it's a little weird, but you know. It's different, yeah, different. it's different. And we have a cabinet here next to the refrigerator. 
Well, I want to show the bedroom No, now. no, hold on. Both slide out. All right. And then you now. Wardrobe space here. Here we go. Wardrobe space here. Wardrobe space here. Let's see. What right? Else? What battery do we at? 12%. We got so this. So there we go with the drawers. And then what really makes this floor plan unique is that it has what I call a north-south bed, not an east-west bed. And this is the bed TV? as you're driving down the road. I love that. Look, you got power lights. You got storage above. Storage Very above. Very nice. Really nice, great design. I love how it's now two AC units, fully ducted through. And look at this, we still have more cabinets. Look at this, this is crazy. Another closet, we got drawers, and the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. With Show Look them. at all that. Preach. Look at that, we got our charging ports, yep. another drawer, another wardrobe. Now. What I think is great about this oh. is if you look under the bed, there's drawers here. Look at this. And wait till you guys see. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Wait till you see what? Not this one. Oh, is that everybody, a kibble station? Yep. Everybody get excited for this. All right. Show them, babe. Right here. Oh, it's for your pets. Yes. That's a kibble station. That is awesome. Very cute. Good eye, babe. I didn't even see that. Now, Great. there is, the bed does lift up. It doesn't really have storage. It just has access to the fuses, and oh. then you have this, like, for a little the bit. Little bit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right here. Yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah. But, I mean, the new look, I, I'm just, wow. You new know? look? You turn my frown upside down, Ace, with a fantastic product. But, as fantastic as it is, it's time to enter the Thunderdome with the three things we love about this motor home and the three things we dislike about it. Andrea, pick your poison. Which one are we doing first? Uh, I'll say three things we love about it. Okay. First and foremost, we I think we can both agree the new look and design. The new look, just do yes. Like a 360 yes, right there, definitely. Please. Definitely. I am just the new farmhouse wow. look. It's not you know. that it's not dark and like you know how, and how it normally gets. It's not flashy and stupid looking. It's 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 nice. It's, it's cozy. Modern. It's actually it's cozy. cozy. It's not over the top. I love that. Number two thing I love is over here. I love this big screen. Makes it easy to see and to navigate. I love this right here, and I and I like that. Well. I don't like how it only holds 250, but I like how, you know, it doesn't go all the way down. Yep. So that's two. Andre, do you have a third thing? Um, I I like how the, the bedroom is set up. Yep. Man. I, I really just... Andre, we're on the same level right now. I, I just, I, I like the way it looks, you the know? The bathroom, the kibble station, the north-south bed. You can lay in this while driving down the road. Not legally, but you could. And, I mean, just a ton of storage. Listen, you got to be careful because, you know, if you're towing more than 5,000 pounds, you can really load up this thing. Oh, snap. We didn't even mention the cargo carrying capacity. We didn't even mention that, It, it just makes it look so much open and brighter in here when it's... Cargo carry capacity, 2,392 wow. pounds. That's, That's actually pretty, pretty good. Yep, very good. So that's the three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. I have one. I have two. Do you have one? Yes. Okay, you go first. I'm not a real huge fan with the floor. I mean, really? Yeah, it's just me. I but don't know just, why. But it goes together. Uh, yeah, it does. Well, tell but me what I, you don't like about the floor. Maybe because it's more dull looking. What color do you want? Like a darker brown? No, I think it maybe it either has to be lighter or darker but i just feel like if it was gloss a little bit glossier shinier i don't know that's just me you everybody shinier? no it just looks dull hey folks listen here i i, I want to uh <laughs> apologize for andrea's first negative review he's gonna say oh she's still not feeling good yeah she's still not <laughs> feeling good i think the all right we'll just fine. blame it on that okay but that's a dislike me Number two, my dislike is over here. 
this motorhome was dead when we first started doing the review. You're right. So, inside. sorry. So I wanted to get the generator on, and normally there's a button right here to put the generator on, and there's not. I don't know why they took away the button to put the to access the generator from up here in the driver's seat. Just a dislike. That's two. And then I got a third. Do you have a three? Um, no. Follow me. Follow me, it's outside. I'm just, I'm amazed with the storage and, you know, can't really say anything. Over here. Third thing I don't like is this bumper. Again, we all know I'm a huge fan of the square bumper where you can store your stinky slinky. It's just me. Is it a deal breaker? Should you not buy this motorhome because you can't put your sewer hose back there? No. And actually somebody told me that this bumper was made to be safer while you're driving down the road. Okay. Who knows? Yeah. I'd rather have I'd rather have a place for my sewer hose than worry about that. But it, and I don't even know if that's true. But that's it. That's the review. Andrea, I am so glad you are back. Me too. Healthy, back in action <laughs> doing the videos. Uh, if you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, call me, text me, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell number is 301-906-0962. If you haven't heard the news, what are you doing? I just started a second YouTube channel called Matt's RV Reviews Towables. So, if you're interested in a travel trailer, fifth wheel toy hauler, or um, travel trailer, fifth wheel toy hauler, or pop up, pop up <laughs> uh, check out my second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towable. Andrea, do you want to say anything to good people? Yes, everybody. Thank you. Keep watching, keep commenting. Let us know what you like, and um, yeah. I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> Just keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you next.